Attention citizens, this is a tsunami warning. Find higher ground or move inland immediately. You have 10 minutes to evacuate. Whoa, guys, did you see that? There's a tsunami coming this way. Oh, gosh, this is bad, Mongo. Quick, we have something to tell you. Look how close we are to the ocean, Mongo. We're definitely gonna die. Wait, you're right. Our house is right next to the beach and the ocean. This isn't good. Mongo, we need to get to higher ground. Quick, dig up as high as you can with dirt. Wait a second, guys. Don't build up. The tsunami is gonna be super big and it's gonna hit you. We need to build down if we wanna survive. Oh, gosh. Where in the world are we supposed to do that, though, Mongo? Don't worry. You guys can follow me. I've prepared a bunker and it's down here. A bunker? I never seen this before exactly this was only meant for emergencies i just need to open this and <gasps> look mikey and jj's families are here too that means we need to save them oh gosh we definitely have to save their families from this huge tsunami but this bunker is so tiny. How are we supposed to survive in here? Actually, you're right. This bunker is super small. And we all know the tsunami is going to cause a huge destruction. So how in the world are we going to survive with no food or anything? We need to expand this bunker immediately, Mongo. That's the only way we'll be able to survive the tsunami. And we only have a couple minutes. So we need to get to it quick. You're right, Wudo. Quickly, let me close this door and let's start building down here for Mikey and JJ's family. Don't worry, you guys. We'll make sure you survive this evil tsunami. We should first start off by using some really strong blocks so that tsunami can't reach us down here, guys. Let me look in the creative menu and I can search up a block called Obsidian. If you guys didn't know, this is the strongest block in Minecraft. Wait, I was gonna use sand. Isn't this stronger? No, silly. Sand just falls straight to the the ground and whenever it connects with water it gets absorbed that means if the tsunami happens all your sand is gonna disappear but, 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 but sand castles are made using sand yeah but sand castles can get swept away really really easily axie if we want to survive a full-blown tsunami then we have to use a super secure block like obsidian to make sure no water gets inside Okay. Exactly, guys. But this bunker is super small and we need to expand it. So how about we build a little hallway over here that connects to different rooms? Oh, so this will be the entrance part and then you can go deeper into the bunker. That's right, Wudo. So come on, help me dig out a hole and we can even build down and have a super cool stairway. Ooh, this is gonna be so cool, Mongo. Come on, Wudo. You start digging out all the blocks and I'm gonna start placing down the stairways and the decorations for the hallways, okay? Decorations? What kind of decorations, Mongo? This isn't a party, you know. We're talking about a huge tsunami. Of course, Wudo, I know that, but we can't be using really bad materials. Look, I'm using obsidian stairs for this. Ooh, obsidian stairs sounds interesting. And then what I'm going to do is find a really interesting block for the walls. And I think iron blocks is the perfect block. So come on, let me get my magical axe over here just like this. And then let me go all the way down here and turn this entire wall into iron blocks just like this. Guys, check it out. This hallway is looking a lot better. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Now it's looking like a secure vault, mom. Mongo. That's right. And wait a second. Where did all this cake appear from? 
cake? What do we have cake for? Oh, yeah. I thought JJ and Mikey's families were getting bored, so I put down some cake. Oh, yeah. That's a great idea, Axie. They are probably pretty hungry for being down here in the bunker, but don't worry. We'll give them actual food in the kitchen. Follow me, Axie. We can start building the bunker down here. Look how great of a job Wudo did with the interior. Thanks, Mongo. Whoa, we could fit so many pigs in here. Pigs? Why would we fit pigs down here, silly? We need all sort of daily essentials, like a bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen, and a whole bunch of other things. A whole bunch of other things? Like what? Well, who knows how long we're going to be down here. We probably need a little hangout area and a barn with animals and stuff. But come on, Axie. I don't have time to talk about it. I'm just going to start building it, okay? Okay. Look, how about this? We should make this first floor into a giant bedroom for all of us to live in. What do you think the floor should be made out of? I think the floor should be made out of dirt. Dirt? Wait a second, silly. We can't live on dirt. Dirt is super dirty, and we're going to get sick if we sleep on the dirt. So I'm going to look in the creative menu, and whoa, this block looks super cool. I think this would work as a great block. There you go. Check it out, Axie. I just put down a new floor for us. Ooh, it looks like a cave, but like a fancy cave. Exactly, and since it's an underground bunker, this is the perfect theme for it. But come on, Axie, we should probably start placing down all the different stuff that belong in the bedroom. So I'm going to search our bed, and I'm going to get the green bed, the red bed, and also the pink bed for all three of us. And we're going to be using these beds for Mikey and JJ's families too, because they like the same colors. So let me place down three green beds over here, then three more red beds over here then i'm gonna place down one giant bed for you axie there you go i'm not that fat mongo oh gosh i guess you aren't so let me remove two of them and is that better i'm still not that fat but it's okay all right axie but check it out we have all the beds now but we still need the other things right next to the bed so let me search up nightstand and i'm gonna be placing down these nightstands and why not get some toys while i'm at it let me just grab these things there you go and i can place these all next to the beds over here there you go axie do you have any decoration ideas that i can use for this bedroom Let's see. You could put mud everywhere. Mud? Why in the world would I put mud everywhere, silly? Because none of us are going to go outside for like 10 million years. So we want to put some natural stuff in our bedroom. Hmm, natural stuff in our bedroom. <gasps> Wait a second, Axie. I just completely thought of something different and it has nothing to do with what you just said. But I think this could be the bedroom area for me and you guys. And we should surprise JJ and Mikey's family with their own special bedrooms. What do you say? Okay. Can we add mud to their bedrooms? No, we can't add mud, silly. But look, we can do it in this area right here. What I can do is just set this wall to iron blocks just like this. There you go. And now these two areas are going to be JJ's room and then Mikey's room. All we need to do is just customize the insides of them. The insides of them? Okay, but don't we just need a bed? No, we're going to be placing a lot more than just beds. Remember this is supposed to be a surprise so let me just get some green beds and let me place them right there let me also get these red beds over here and let me place them over here as well there you go boing 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 axie stop playing around can you please help me build place down a bunch of green decorations inside of mikey's room because that's exactly what i'm gonna be doing i just need to search up lime just like this and look there's so many different things i can place around Ooh, i'll work on jj's room while you do that 
okay that's fine actually look i just need to take all of these things and now i can place down these decorations all over the place just like this whoa mike is gonna be so happy with this room and i can't wait to get his reaction so come on let's get some carpets right now and let's place them all over the floor just like this then what i can do is just search up lime again and then i can get some kind of lime nightstand let's see where can i find it there you go let me just place these over here then let me just place the nightstands on top of them and wait a second i think mikey's bedroom is done let's go check out jj's over here and whoa axie i thought this would look a lot worse i thought you would be placing mud everywhere but this is actually pretty decent i guess yeah i have presents for jj and his family everywhere i have paint buckets i didn't finish painting the walls though and i have these streamer light thingies we should probably remove the paint buckets and then also extend some of these lights because these are way too short. But other than that, this room isn't that bad, Axie. Thanks, Mongo. I should become an architect sure you could totally do that and wait a second mudo is that you i haven't seen you in forever what have you been doing my girl i can't believe you built me my very own green bedroom this is the best bedroom i have ever had bro thank you so much this isn't for you, silly. This is for JJ and Mikey. Look, this is Mikey's bedroom, and this is JJ's bedroom. And it's supposed to be a huge surprise for them. This is our beds over here. Wait, what? We just get the normal beds, but I want the cool ones that Mikey and JJ have. We don't have time for that, Wudo. We only have a few more minutes to build. So come on, let's move on to the next room. You really did a great job breaking out all these rooms, Wudo. Thanks. That's why they call me Wudo the Excavator. I don't think anyone calls you that. Shh, don't tell him. Yeah, Wudo, no one ever called you that before. But we should do something fun for this room, guys. I feel like we might be stuck here for a long time. So how about we create a hangout area? A hangout area? That sounds like fun. What type of block should we use for the floor? Well, for the floor, we should use a super fun block. Let's just look around real quick and <gasps> wait. The block of copper looks super fun and shiny, Wudo. Should we use that? Copper? What in the world, Mongo? Where do you get your definition of fun? I was thinking we use these cool neon lights. Okay, Wudo, you can place those down all over the floor. I think I have a pretty good idea of what we should add into this room though really what should we add look wudo i'm gonna start off by breaking some of these blocks in the corner what we can do is have a mini pool inside of here pool! i think it should be even bigger yeah make it a giant pool mongo and don't forget to have a diving board sure guys i can definitely make it bigger but it can't be too big now there's a weird cave under here. Whoa, it's like an underwater pool. Wait a second, guys. You're ruining the build. Stop. All we need to do is just have a bottom layer to this pool. We don't need to go down there, silly. Okay. Let me just place down some iron blocks just like this. And now this will be the area for the water of our pool. And I think this is the perfect size. So come on. Let me just get some water buckets and let me place them all over just like this. Check it out, guys. We now have our pool. Ooh, that's pretty cool, Mongo. But what if I want a heated pool? I'm going to add some heating elements right over here. Hey, I don't like heated pools, so let's keep this side normal. Okay, sure. Wait a second. So inside of this pool, we have a heated side and a normal side. Yeah, so whenever you're feeling a little too hot, you can go into the cold side. But if you're feeling too cold, you can go to the heated side. I guess that makes sense, Wudo. Look, I'm going to place down some ladders over here. And I'm also going to take down some slabs just like this. And look, we have our diving board now. 
Ooh, that is so cool. Come on, Axie. I'm going to dive before you. Whoa, those dives are going to be super cool when we're bored, guys. Let me go in again and we That felt really good. We're probably going to be here for like 20,000 years, guys. So we might even get bored of the diving board. Yeah, and in that case, we need to add something else that'll be really fine. Don't worry about that, guys. We can add plenty of things inside of this giant room. I think we should make this area into a theater room. What do you think? Ooh, a theater room sounds so cool, Mongo. Then we can watch our videos on the big screen. I want to watch horror movies. Exactly, guys. Look, what I can do is add some seats, and this can be like a private theater for us. Wait, so does that mean we're not letting JJ and Mikey watch movies with us? Of course they can watch the movies with us. Look, I placed on more than enough couches for us to do that. But since we have that, I need to start placing down the giant TV screen. So let me search up some black wool and let me also get some speakers. And what I can do is place this all over the wall just like this. And boom, we now have the entire TV, guys. I just need to place down the black wall and now it is complete. Whoa, this looks super cool. Wow, Mongo, it's like a real movie theater. The only thing we're missing is a bucket of popcorn and hot dogs. Don't worry, Budo. I can totally get that. All I need to do is just search up table and place down some tables over here in this corner. And we can easily get some popcorn. Let me just get this. Let me place that right there for us to eat. I'll even place down another one so there's more than enough. And then what I can do is also place down a hot dog for us to eat and now look our movie theater is perfect now i even added a sign outside so that people know it's the simina yay let's go in that case mongo do you know what movie i'm going to watch right now what movie woodo i'm gonna watch this video on the big screen and do you know what everyone should do when they watch our videos they should subscribe so if you guys are watching this video and you like it please subscribe thank you subscribe subscribe and then you can get a free bucket of popcorn courtesy of mongo wait a second wudo we're running out of time we can't spend time in the theater right now come on the base is still half complete so let's just finish up this hangout room and move on to the next area i think we should have a giant basketball court back here what do you guys say a basketball court sounds pretty fun mongo sure all I need to do is just get the backboard of the basketball court. So let me just get the black concrete and let me also get some white concrete just like this and also some yellow concrete over here. I also need some cobwebs and also some fences. So let me just grab these. And now that I have all of these things, guys, I can have the backboard for the basketball court right over here, just like this. Then I can add the hoop by using these fences. And look, I added the cobweb for the net. And now all I need to do is just search up walls just like this. And I'm going to get some cobblestone walls to represent the stand of the basketball court. And look, guys, I'm done with the basketball court. Woo, that's so cool. You want to watch me make a basket, Mongo? Sure, Wudo, let's see your skills. Okay, but don't say I didn't warn you when I said I'm really good. Ha, ha, watch this. Watch this, Mongo. Yeet. Oh, I missed. Wudo, you completely missed. What was that? Uh, hold on. I can do it again. hi yeah. Oh, gosh. It's okay, guys. I've got it. And there. Wait, what? Axie? Wait a second. Axie made the basketball. Let's go. Good job, Axie. And since you made it, what I'm going to do is finish off this room. Check it out, guys. I have a perfect idea of what to put over here in this corner. She cheated, Mongo. Take that back. She's not good at basketball. Wudo, she did not cheat and you know it. But look, do you guys have any idea what this is? Um, no, but they look like a bunch of targets. 
Can we eat them? No, we can't eat them. But Wudo, you were right. This is going to be target practice. We need to make sure that we're sharp in all our skills if we're going to stay here for a while. So I decided to add these targets so we can practice our bow skills. All I need to do is just get a bow and then some arrows. And now, guys, we can make it so whenever we shoot these targets, our aim gets a lot better. And look, Wudo, you're even placing down some lights so whenever we hit them it lights up woohoo that looks really cool mongo yep let me just get a chest real quick and inside of the chest i'm gonna place down a bunch of bows and a bunch of arrows for us to use for this target practice whenever we want oh yeah i'm gonna be target practicing every single day just in case our world turns into an underwater world and i need to take down enemies using my bow Poodle, if it turned into an underwater world, I think you'd be dead. What? No, I wouldn't. I'm a turtle at heart. Remember, Axie? Manga would actually be the dead one. Yeah, but you can't actually breathe underwater, unlike me. Oh, no. Okay, guys, we don't have time to talk around. Look, now that we're done with the hangout room, we should probably move on to the next room. And this time, we need to hurry up because we only have like two more minutes left. Come on. Okay, quick. Let's start fixing up this room, Mongo. For the floor of this room, what I'm thinking is we use some quartz blocks and keep it simple. We don't really have time to decide on different blocks. Oh, yeah, you're right. This will look really clean. Yup. But guys, have you noticed that we're really missing the essential things to survive inside of a bunker? We don't even have a kitchen or a bathroom. Are you serious? Oh, no. We better add those things ASAP, Mongo. I just kind of assumed we'd eat Mongo once we got too hungry. Well, where would we poop? Oh, uh, on the floor? What? Wait a second. You guys were actually planning on eating me. Just kidding. Maybe if we got really hungry. Right, Udo? Hehehe. <laughs> Don't tell him. All right. Well, we need to prevent that from happening. So come on. Let's build a kitchen with plenty of food. For a kitchen, we need a few materials. Let me just search up fridge just like this. We also need a sink. We obviously need a stove. And finally, we need some counters and some countertops. So let me just grab all of these and now that we have all of these guys i can start placing down the parts of the kitchen that matter check it out i'm gonna place down a stove right there then i'm gonna place down another one over here and then in this area i'm gonna place down two fridges this kitchen is gonna be giant so we're probably gonna need as many fridges as possible i'm also gonna place down all these sinks over here just like that and then what we can do is add some countertops at the top so we have have a lot of storage for a lot of different things mongo i had to upgrade our baking area because me and axie are demanding that plenty of cakes and cookies be made while we're in this bunker right axie yeah and you're gonna make all of them mongo while we sit around and play games yay wait really guys that doesn't sound like a good time so how about we add a chef inside of the kitchen a chef wait you're telling me there's someone here who can cook of course wudo we just need to spawn in a villager and just tell him what to do and he'll do it for us look we can even name the villager oh my gosh are you kidding me mongo in that case let's let the villager cook Sure, Wudo, but I feel like this kitchen is missing a middle area. Let's add a huge island. What do you say? Ooh, yeah, an island would be perfect so that we can snack on the go. Yup, Wudo, look, I just need to use these blocks over here and check it out. This island is starting to look really good. Ooh, Axie, you see this? We can eat all of our cakes and cookies here. I'm gonna make it even better! Yay! Wait a second, Axie. Are you placing down a bunch of mud? Yeah, it's 
seasoning. It makes your food taste better. Axie, the kitchen is no place for mud. We're only supposed to put clean, delicious food here. Look, I put down plenty of cakes for us. Great job, Wudo. I'm gonna get us some chairs to place around the island so we can actually sit down and eat. There you go. Let me just do that. But guys, now that our kitchen is done, let's quickly add a seating area for us to actually eat all the food. I just need to take some tables just like this and then just place a few of them around just like this. There you go. Wee oui, wee, oui, Mongo. I shall bring you your meal. I have made you a salad. Whoa, this looks so gourmet. Whoa, Voodoo, this does look really delicious. I didn't know that you were a chef. This is what happens when you let me cook, Mongo. Whoa, who let you cook, brother? Look over here. I'm going to place down a few more chairs, and we're going to be done with the entire kitchen, guys. I think we did that pretty fast. What do you think? I think so, too. And you know what that means? We just have a little bit of extra time for us to build something even cooler than a kitchen mongo what do you think we should add next well wudo we need to build our bathroom of course we can't completely forget that oh yeah guys we don't need a whole bathroom i'll just put some toilets over here wait a second axie you can't do that that's super disorganized and it's kind of disgusting come on just help me out by building an actual bathroom all i need to do is just select these two blocks over here and then figure out a block that i'm gonna use for the walls i really like the copper block so i'm gonna use that let me just do this command real quick and look guys i built the walls for the bathroom and we can have the entrance be right over here inside of the bathroom what i should do is get some wall blocks and with the wall blocks i can actually create different stalls for us to use the bathroom in do humans really need that much privacy what are you guys worried about i'm worried about someone watching me poop axie what's the worst that could happen they laugh at you yeah i don't want anyone seeing me while i take a massive poo poo well privacy is really important axie that's exactly why i'm adding these walls look I'm even gonna add a few toilets and also toilet paper. I just need to put them down just like this. There you go. And then now all I need to do is just search up door and we can put a door for each of these stalls just like this. There you go. I'm adding another toilet in this one so that two people can poop at the same time. Um, are you sure about that, Axie? That does sound pretty efficient, but it also sounds really nasty. No, Wudo, you can poop on this toilet, and then I can poop on this toilet. Oh, gosh, I don't know about that, Axie. I guess it's fine for now, Wudo. What in the world are you adding over here? Well, I was thinking after you're done using the restroom, you can grab a little snack from over here, you know, so you can fill your belly back up and what snack is better than cheese so you just take a little nibble of this cheese block and then you can go about your day you can't take a nibble of cheese silly especially not in the bathroom what in the world what i'm gonna do is add some sinks over here so we can wash our hands oh man but i like the idea of a cheese snack how about this mongo after you wash your hands you can take a nibble of this cheese and cheese will never go bad so in 1000 years the cheese will taste even better exactly no guys if you want to add cheese so badly go add it in the kitchen not over here okay mongo let me and axie cook let me just place the door for the bathroom just like this and whoa these doors look super fancy i think jj and mikey's family are gonna love them but for this final area over here what i should do is add some cool paintings so the bathroom actually looks cool and whoa those paintings look awesome come on let's finally just complete the bathroom but just adding a roof to it just like this and the roof is gonna be quartz block so let me just type that out and boom we now have a roof to the bathroom i can 
also search up bathroom over here just like this and we can get these bathroom signs and place them right over here and now we're officially done with the kitchen and the bathroom and whoa this food looks delicious i can't wait to eat this but wait a second where did axie and wudo go i need to quickly find them i think they're down here Oh my god, look, me and Axie are done building out the area for the next room. Wait, you guys did a great job, but guys, we don't have that long to build. I think we only have a minute till the tsunami comes over here. Really? Oh gosh, we better hurry up then. Yup, this room needs to be something super duper important, guys. Can you think of something? We have the kitchen, we have the bathroom, we have a hangout area, and also a bedroom. What are we missing if we're stuck down here for a hundred years? We're missing nature! Wait a second, Axie, you're right. We don't have any food or any trees or any plants, so we should definitely add that to this part. Let me just grab my handy dandy axe, and what we can do is set this entire floor to be grass just like that, guys. Yay! Ooh, now it feels like I'm outside. I'm even gonna make a fake sun so it looks more realistic, Mongo. The grass is tickling my feet. <laughs> Wait, really, Axie? Look, I'm even gonna search up oak just like this, and I'm even gonna get some bone meal, so now we can have a tree right next to the sun, Wudo. Oh, gosh, now you're blocking the sun, Mongo. The sun needs to be unblocked. Really? Okay, sorry about that. Let me just use some bone meal to make this area look a little bit more lively. And guys, we can spend our time over here relaxing. And then in this corner, we can add some animals for us to breed and talk to and also take care of. Let me just search up fences just like this. And with these, I can add different areas for different animals. What animals do you think we should have, guys? Turtles! Axolotls! Turtles and axolotls. Hmm. Those are great options that I think we can definitely add. So you guys don't need to worry. I'll add each of those. Let me just first start out by adding some simple animals like chickens real quick. There you go. We're going to need chickens because they're going to be giving us a bunch of eggs. And with the eggs, we can make cake and a bunch of other bakery goods like cookies and more cake exactly guys i'm also gonna place down some cows because cows are super important for milk and they also are super awesome because they make super cool noises Moo! Moo! but for this final area i'm gonna be adding some sheep do you guys know why sheep are so important because they make a funny sound Bleh. because they're fluffy well i guess both of you are correct Correct, but sheep have wool and with the wool we can make extra beds clothing and a lot more items are gonna be important guys really oh gosh yep but wudo i know you and axie really wanted some turtles and some axolotls so that's exactly what i'm gonna build in this area look i'm gonna grab some sand just like this and some water as well so we can place them both down all i need to do is just replace all the inside with sand just like that and then make a little water patch over here just like this and then what we can do is search up turtle and then also axolotl there you go and now that we have those two i can place them inside of the water just like this guys look we now have axolotls and turtles in our bunker yay wow that's awesome but axie i think this needs to be a bit bigger he's trying to suppress us we need to make it as big as possible yes it's time for the turtle axolotl revolution <laughs>
Wait a second, Wudo. Don't you think you're making it a little too big? Nope. I don't think there's anything wrong with adding even more turtles and axolotls. As if Axie wasn't already enough. Okay, you guys can do that. I'm going to focus on making the farm over here in this area. All I need to do is just get this item called a hoe. And with this, I can start digging up the ground so we can have all different types of plants and stuff to stay healthy guys Ooh, that sounds cool of course it sounds cool wudo we're gonna need these plants to survive so come on let me just place the water down over here just like this there you go and now that i have that i can start deciding on what i'm gonna plant over here so let's just quickly get some wheat so we can get some hay bells i'm also gonna get some watermelon because they taste so good and then let's Let's get some basic things like potato there you go i'm gonna place down these wheat over here then i'm gonna place down the melons over here and the potatoes over here and then i'm gonna repeat that with the wheat as well now all i need to do is just get some bone meal and i'm gonna place them just like this on top of all the different plants so they look like they're growing a little bit there you go that looks a lot better and now we can just keep repeating this process over here and we also need a little storage area like a little barn so let me just quickly get some wood real quick just like this and i'm gonna add a little storage room all of the things that we're gonna place down inside of it let me just do this real quick and boom this can be our little storage area let me quickly get some fences to place on the inside just like that and then let me get some hay bales over here here and then let me also get some chests just like this and boom we now have the storage area with the chest in the corner just like this hey guys i'm done with the farm oh really but it's missing one thing mongo how will we take care of this farm if we don't have horses wait a second horses are really important wudo look how cool they look oh my gosh we can each have our own horses and we can put super cool armor on them i'm gonna name mine wudo wait what my name's already wudo a horse can't take that name it's reserved to me why not all axolotls are named axolotl wait a second guys forget the horses do you guys hear that noise wait what are you thinking what i'm thinking oh gosh the tsunami's coming right now let me go back outside real quick to place down some cameras so we can see what happens i just need to grab these things and the camera monitor just like this there you go what i'm gonna do is actually create a giant pole that we can have the cameras in just like this and now i'm gonna quickly come back guys get ready to retreat we need to move jj and mikey's family down there too quickly let me just close the door and guys come on we need to go down hey all right we have mikey and jj's families over here now i just need to look through the camera to see the tsunami happening come on let me just click this and wait a second where's the tsunami and oh, i see it right there look guys it's so giant and it's coming our way wait really is it gonna destroy our house already yes it's gonna destroy our house for sure it's so big and it's super fast uh, guys what do we do don't worry wudo we built this entire bunker to survive it look jj and mikey's families are totally safe and our horses and all of our animals are definitely gonna be safe too we enclosed the entire thing remember let me look through the cameras and oh my gosh this tsunami is about to hit the house guys Guys, get ready for impact! Uh, oh gosh! Ew. Oh no, oh no, oh no! And wait, guys, it's getting super close. What in the world? I just lost connection to the cameras. Oh no, Mongo. How many years are we gonna be trapped under here? Maybe hundreds or millions. Or maybe even billions! 
I guess there's only one way to find out, guys. Come on. Let's just go down here and spend the rest of our time here. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, then watch another video on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye.